Hello again, Andrew is here with the free video training Dropship and Grow Rich. I'm not selling you here anything, just showing you the proven way to the six figure dropshipping with zero investment. You can do it yourself from your laptop. All right, so on today's topic is what we're going to talk today is about actually, there are going to be two videos titles that sell because this is so crucial important right this is titles right titles that sell that's the topic for today and uh, i hope we will manage in two videos so uh, in some other trainings i have uh, more detailed on uh, different uh, levels about title there is no one way of doing titles only uh, most definitely there is only one way you should do title <laughs> this is just uh, you do title because you want to sell right because uh, title is the one of the most not the most important but one of the most important factors uh, your uh, how you are gonna get visibility how many uh, visitors you will get uh, traffic you will have a little traffic onto your page or you will have uh, quite a bit of, okay so as you know already this is not my listing this is the Chinese guy or Chinese person we have been um, discovering that one why I'm using this example <clears throat> let me just uh, go uh, mention something about the title first okay title is not actually very bad not very bad okay there is some few mistakes but it's not very bad okay i'm using this particular example in all my not in all my but as you know already in few of my videos this particular example i'm using because there is a so many mistakes here is so many mistakes that if you were gonna keep doing them you are gonna get the same results as them as they are getting okay so uh, I don't want to um, lose uh, just a uh, few of you <laughs> to get done with uh, dropshipping and uh, the rest of you are gonna be somewhere uh, wandering in the wilderness so it's it's really important but it's the same time it's really simple to do the right titles the titles that sell and i will show you and the most important i will gonna explain to you and you can do it uh, you can do it by yourself okay so first of all title what is the title okay what is that freaking weird title so it's not the title for ebay it's not the title for eBay. It is, but it's not for the eBay. It's not even uh, to describe exactly here your product. No, it's not. So the title, we put title here with the imagination in our ha uh, head that there will gonna be something what people will gonna write in uh, here in the search engine, okay? what they were gonna write not the words they will go, not gonna write one word just tank right not they are not looking for the tank probably they were gonna look for the uh for what for a tire bead seater right so or maybe they were gonna write uh, if you are running the car shop and you or you are the tire man deck man were you you need this uh, seating tool the tire seating tool okay you will gonna write some kind of like uh, two three words or like uh, we used to tell here in um, eBay community we used to call it those are the keywords l short or long tail keywords if you can make long tail keyword it's more beneficial for you if you are making only two word keyword I will give you an example as well, just bear with me. Uh, you are uh, competing with so, so many and probably you are not uh, getting any sales, okay? So, as far as a title, this is not a very good example, but I use this because there is, I want to show you something what is, uh, what 
he did in the title uh, wrong. Okay, so first of all, you do not put in the title um, like a five gallon. Okay, those words here, those those are just uh, uh, the first of all, the title is too short. Okay, it's it's okay. It's about uh, here is uh, you can put some. Uh, Two, three words more here but they are not using those uh, possibilities to be discovered by eBay buyers so that's okay that's better for us if you want to sell the same tank or the blaster tank but uh, this uh, five gallon this is uh, it's uh, misused here you don't have to do this because why because this is not the part of the title not the part of the profitable title you have this you have this um, measurement you must put this measurement here in the item specifics okay uh, i have another video if you haven't watched another video about item specifics so go to watch the item specifics and now you know that this item specific is very wrong right this is uh, absolutely crazy it's uh, useless <laughs> Well, you got this not in the item specifics, all those numbers, you put them in the features here, right? And uh, about description, we will gonna speak uh, in, uh, in some of the next videos, okay? So this description is, uh, I would say, very bad, okay? But I will explain more in the future videos. Now, you see this one, If the, let me explain to you. If you put here in a title the words kind of uh, like new or free shipping, which actually I did, I, to be honest with you, I did this when I started dropshipping, it was 2014. And what I did was at the end of the title, I put with the capital letters like this, the capital letters, by the, at the end of the title, I put free shipping <laughs> i thought the people when they were gonna see this <laughs> this is but well you can laugh of course but uh, you know i was just a newbie okay i started there i was so enthusiastic about uh, getting sales and i thought about well, if i were gonna put the new uh, free shipping yeah new i also put the new i started many titles i started with the capital letters with the word new right and then I, at the end i put it the uh, free shipping <laughs> that was crazy but well i did a lot of mistakes you know i was not professional when i started this okay so why you don't put this here the reason is very simple okay it will not gonna do any good for you because if you put that measurement here in uh, if you have that measurement here in item specifics the same if you put the word new here it does nothing for you because you have new in uh, not here you can see here but uh, you have here in a in a uh, there is this condition new you already have it new by the by the default when you have to mark that's uh, that uh, that uh, small you know in a in a account settings in a listing when you create the listing there is a, there is a place where you mark that the item is uh, new not the used so it, you're not gonna use them it's just misusing the place here in the title it do nothing for you because if some, if let's say for example if i am looking for this tire blaster here seater right if i will gonna write here in a search engine new okay ebay automatically will gonna show me only new ones doesn't matter if you have here new or not because in your settings you mark that this is new what you are selling do you follow me i hope you follow me so don't write here new it makes nothing it's zero value okay the same like a uh, five gallon this is the part of item specifics it's not part of the title in a title we must have to put only keywords and you have another video about the keywords i told you already i mentioned for you already that in a, in a title we put the keyword combinations okay let me show you what i mean by this this is the title okay i copy the title and i go to my notes and I paste the title here, okay? So this is title. So now I take away the five gallon because I don't need this one, okay? Portable, blaster, tire bead seater, okay? 
type bid seater. This would be one keyword here. Okay, let me do this type bid seater. Okay, air tank, rapid inflator, seating tools, seating tools. Well, that's kind of like too short keyword. It's it's seating tools. It's only two words here. Portable tire bead seater. Well, that could be something, yeah. Or portable blaster for tire. Um, you can always go, let's say like when I did this one, you can always go and check on a Google, okay? As I showed you already in a, when we do keywords, right? You go on a Google, you open Google, and in the Google you just paste in portable blaster tire, and let's see what Google is telling us, how it, how it goes, right? And then a portable tire blaster, right? So. I would change those, I would put the tire in the front there because it's just a keyword game. It is, I will not gonna go deeper in this because you know how to do the keywords. We, we did this already in a lecture about the keywords, right? But that's the way how to do this, okay? So this is what Google said. People are writing, oh, where is it? Portable tire blaster, this is what Google likes because more people are writing exactly word by word like this portable tire blaster so if google says that i will not gonna do this mistake here it's not kind of like big mistake but it makes a little difference in a, in a search engine okay so i will stick with the portable tire blaster portable tire blaster Okay, so which means I will gonna change portable tire blaster. I will also put here, well actually only one word I need to switch here, portable tire blaster, okay? And now you do the same what I was teaching when, uh, you know, the drill, right? You know, for the keywords. Portable tire blaster, oops, twice. Sorry, my mistake. Go back, portable tire blaster, and let me see what's going on. There's one more space here, too much, right? What's going on here is bead blaster. It's Canadian because I'm in Canada right now and it's just tire bead blaster gun, tire bead seater, aha, uh -huh. tire bead seater, tire bead sealer now, steel core bead seater, tire bead seater. Uh, yeah, this is the Harbor Freight, that's another company. Mm, tire bead seater. Tire bead blaster, tire bead seater, tire bead seat, seater. You see how tire bead seater, tire bead seater. Did you hear me? Google is saying that tire bead seater are the most powerful keywords uh, on this particular item here. So I will gonna be listening Google and I will do the tire bead seater, tire bead seater. Okay, let me copy this one. Tire bead seater, go back to my notes. Tire bead seater, portable tire blaster, portable tire blaster. And here I go, bead seater. Portable tire blaster, bead seater. That's the how I start making, uh, how I start making, uh, my title will be like this starts okay instead of having this title i will gonna have this title here so that's how you have to start uh, building up your title and then the following words are here it's the same way like we used to do with the keywords right you just fill up title with your keywords the same keywords you have here in the title, then those the same keywords you have connected to the pictures and the same keywords you have connected, uh, some of the keywords you have here in item specifics, okay, as I told you earlier already, and in the description, which we were gonna uh, go through in the next videos, okay? So this is very important to have those keywords written down on your notes here. Okay, tire bead seater, let it be. And when you do those keywords, as you know, this is my policy. Uh, I'm doing keywords 
like this okay but please don't confuse like with the portable tire blaster bead seater right this is the keywords i will show you later on how we use those keywords with the pictures but um, uh, tire bead seater portable this i will take away i don't need that one and this i got already once here so i got two keywords here actually right so um the the keywords i will gonna make the same like usually it's it depends from the product but uh, the suggested is my suggestion is if you make the uh, uh, between six and twelve keyword versions right here is only two i made one and two okay so but you fill up the keywords here in the title in description in the pictures in the item specifics that's have to be like marinated with your keywords because if you do that your visibility will be boosted on ebay for free you don't need to run any promoted listings and by the way you shouldn't run any promoted listings because it's only sucking out money of your wallet okay stay away from promoted listings never ever do that i will come to that point and explain you in the details again later on uh, that's a big mistake actually if you do promoted listings so use everything which is which is what is for free and use a little bit your brain how you do that okay so if you stick with my videos you will go, I will gonna lead you through all this stuff. You don't need to pay thousands of dollars for all those fancy courses out there because they do nothing good anyway. <laughs> okay, but I will teach you exactly the way how I made my six figures and you can do the same here. If you follow just on a YouTube and uh, it's free, right? I'm not asking you to pay anything. So anyway, here is the thing, right? You just, uh, what else we can do? If you want to find more keywords, we have to finish this video right now and continue on the next video, actually, not to make the videos too long. And on the next video, we're gonna go a little bit deeper here with the keywords. All right, see you on the next video.